Hi guys, so today I'm going to teach you how to diagnose a 6s no display problem and where to start off first. I'm going to shut this door. There we go. And you can hear the conversations in the background. Can you just shut that door, please? Thank you. Okay, um, so let's get started in the. Let's get started first. Okay, where are the schematics? Let me just open this up in a new page. Mm -hmm. Just up there and swap it there. Okay, cool. Right, close this as well. Oh my gosh, I've been really busy. Okay, so this is Chestnut. This is the power supply for the display. Uh, what we're going to do is first there is a very important important line that you first have to check before you do anything okay so let me just show you where that line is so the component sits right next to the LCD connector this is the resistor this is the L AP to LCM reset line and what you're going to do is first test for short to ground on both sides okay if it's shorter to ground on both sides there's no point in wasting time on the phone it's a CPU problem Okay, so let's just. Alright, so we've got ground on one side, which is normal, and then on the other, we should have a diode reading. If it beeps on both sides, then there's a problem with the CPU. Don't bother, don't go moving forward, okay? Next thing you want to check is this cap here. So as you can see, we're getting 600 on that cap over there, so that means we're good for that. These are the LCM lines, first thing to check. Now these two filters, there's one underneath there, let me show you. Okay, so. <clears throat> Just test that you get a diode reading, as you can see we get 290 there. And then how much do we get on the other side? 290 as well. So then the... So that means that filter is working fine. Check the other side there. Yep, we're getting 660. And then we need to check the other side here. Yep, we're getting 660 as well. So then those lines are fine, right? So now we've got some lines around Chestnut. So this is Chestnut, the name, nickname for it. And um, what we're going to do is we're just going to test around here. So that looks to be normal. Now... Okay, so it's ground, and we have a beat on the side as well. Let's just go ahead and check what that line is, and what else is on that line. How many caps are on that line. So, if we go to the schematics here, let's go and find that cap that we found here. It's not meant to be beeping on both sides. A capacitor is meant to have ground on the other. It's not a filter. It's not a wire. Okay, so... Let's see, it's a 10 UF cap, and what line is it on? It is on PP6 volt LCM boost. I am pretty sure that's not meant to be shorted to ground. So we've got PP6 volt LCM boost, we have C4008, which is a 10 UF cap, and we have C4007, which is on the line as well. Where is that one? That one is located just underneath it. So we have, as you can see here, we have C4008, as a possible culprit and C4007 as a possible culprit. Now, without the 6 volt boost line, we're not going to get any display at all. This phone was sent to me for a backlight problem when it's obviously not a backlight problem. So, yeah, let me just uh, switch you back to the thing. Okay. So, let's go ahead and see what's happening with this phone. I want to remove that short. It's not meant to be beeping. It is not meant to be beeping like this one is. Okay, so now that we got that there, let's go ahead and remove it. And let's see. I'm going to take a guess on that one. <laughs> I'm going to go for that one. <laughs> Put some coin. So, this is cool, we've only got two possible culprits. 
So I'm going to go ahead and guess for this baby here. Yeah. So, before we continue, I want to get this, let's put this over here, and let's see if this was the problem. So a capacitor shouldn't be beeping through it. Oh. Wait. So what does that mean? That means we found the guy. We found the bad boy. Is there any signs of popping and exploding? No. Hello, baby. You found it. So, let's test the line again. We need to make sure we have some dive readings. Okay. Let's go ahead again and we going to. What are we getting? We're getting 470 rising as the board cools down to around 500. It could reach 600 when the board is completely cold. So, moment of truth to test. Do we get a picture? Display fixed. So, this is how you diagnose the 6S display circuit. As soon as you see, you first test that resistor, if the AP to LCM reset line is shorter to ground, you just put that device back where it can send it back. CPU problem. But then if it's not shorted, then you have to go down these routes of looking down the other LCM lines. Hope you enjoyed the video. This was seven minutes, eight minutes to diagnose this, and we found the correct problem. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the next video.